We're looking to make hurdles to suit people. If you have a customer looking for a certain type of handle, a certain type of boss, from our point of view, we want the finish to be really good. My grandfather, uh, Ramey Dowland, started Star Hurley in 1963 um, in Patrick Street in Kilkenny. Prior to that, he would have worked with his father-in-law, who was a um, well-known hurley maker called uh, Tom Nary. So uh, in the 80s then, my uncle Brian and um, another uncle of mine, uh, Tom, would have started working in the business when my grandfather retired. Brian and Tom then would have taken it over maybe in the late 80s, early 90s. And myself and my brother Stephen took over the business in January 2020. And we moved it out to Jenkinstown Park here, just outside Kilkenny City. Yeah, from a young age I was always interested. We used to go in there every Saturday and we'd be playing hurling in the yard. Um, and you'd see Kilkenny hurlers coming in and out and different players and that. Brian Cody might come in from time to time, we'd be trying to show off our skills. Then um, I started working in the business around 2003, I'd say. Um, my seven Stephen boat went in at the same time and I loved it from day one. Our uncle Brian then, who ran the business for the last 30 years, is actually working with us now. It's kind of what has happened down through the generations is the business gets handed over and whoever hands it over stays for a few years and make sure it's a smooth process. When we started working there, you learn how to tape, you learn how to stamp, um, maybe then you learn how to band the hurls. You kind of work backwards from the end really. At the start you're just kind of learning the process, what follows what. You're trying to develop a feel for what you're doing. So that you can pick up a hurl, you can instantly feel right, the handle is not too thick on that, I don't need to do too much on that handle. We learned to spoke shave, so that probably can be the most important part of the whole thing really, because that's, that's the hurl that's going to be handed out. So. I remember Brian saying to me that one part of the hurl should flow into the next. I suppose ash has always been used. It's a strong timber, strong wood, but there's flexibility in it as well. So it's, it's able to take hardship. We dry some of the planks naturally and then some of them go through a kiln dryer uh, until their the percentage of moisture is low enough to make hurls out of them. So once we do that, once they're dry then, so we'll uh, get our timber, we'll mark up our hurls. Uh, we'll saw them out. Um, Once they're sawn, then, uh, then they're spoke shaved. Spoke shaving is really important to us in finishing hurls by hand because it allows us to get a balance and a feel for every hurl. It's very exact, it's very precise. You can feel whether the weight is in the boss, whether it's in the handle. You're kind of looking for, for perfection, really. It can be the most important part of the whole thing, really, because that's, that's the hurl that's going to be handed out, so. It's how my great-grandfather would have made hurls. Obviously, some things get more modern in hurley making, but what the one thing that remains consistent for us is spoke shaving, definitely. Once the hurl is spoke shaved, then we uh, sand it. Sand it down, tape it, stamp it. We'd have hurls from the 1960s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. But what, I suppose what has happened is the bosses have got bigger, but the weights of hurls probably got uh, less and less. It's nice to have them because you can compare what people used over the, through the generations to what they use now, I suppose. Maybe the hurls are a sign of how, of how hurling has changed down through the years. With the success that was in Kilkenny down through the years, um, a lot of Kilkenny hurlers were using our hurls. So it's something um, their grandfather would be really proud of if he knew 
how successful or how many hurls, star hurlies would have been used in Croke Park down through the years, I suppose, yeah, when he was starting the business. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's really something to be proud of.